Hey everyone, Dello the multi-boxer, making a new team here to level with. Don't know if I'm going to be playing this very much, but um, yeah, it's the five classes I don't have. Uh, so a team of misfits. Druid, tank, rogue, hunter, warlock, and a pelon healer. Um, the f well, the five classes I don't have, I'm not going to play horde, so um, no chamois, even though it's one of my favorite classes in the game. Anyway, quick guide to IS Boxer. So I'm going to create these five characters, which actually I've already done, but this is just giving you a demonstration here. So when you create them, I'll say they're in the wrong window because I've logged in with my other profile, but I've made five new characters. They now all have um, a file made in your WoW directory, which IS Boxer is going to use to make its own profile for these guys. Okay. So they're all made, so that's done. Let's uh, close out of this. Let's grab IS Boxer. Now, it's been a while since I've done this, so let's see if I can still do it. So this is my, my main team, the one you see in all my videos. So what we're gonna do is make a new one. So I'll use Quick Setup Wizard. Lord of Warcraft. So I'm make sure I have classic as my game and default profile is fine. So from Remulus. So I want my main character to be the Druid tank. So that's Humphrey, Humph. So I'm gonna add that into slot one. Slot two, I want the Rogue which is can opener. Slot three was the hunter, which was whatever I called it, Koch. Slot four is going to be the warlock, who has burned them all. And the paladin, Barristan. Okay, so they're the, in the order that I want. So you can move them up and down and get them in the right order, but that's where I want them to be already. So this is the Misfits. I'm going to use a new subscriber. Thank you. I'm going to use... So I've got a few here. What I like to use is... Uh, yeah. Single monitor. And I like leave a hole. So something like that. And I like VFX on. But I, so you select the one you want. That's the one I normally use. Um, I want VFX on. There we go. Yeah, use VFX on. Set it to WoW Classic, which is the same as my other one. But if you don't have one, choose the one you like. Turn VFX on if your computer can handle it. Play around, set it up how you want. But this is how I like it. Yeah, leave a hole on. Okay. I think that's correct. I hope that's correct. Cool. So this, it all depends on how you want to run, how good your computer is. I leave it as default. My computer is decent. And this is all set by my other one. Um, but yeah, it's all pretty standard. You choose the keys you want. Make sure you've got your inter interact with target set correctly in here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I should turn that off because I never use it. But I'm not going to listen to myself. I'm just going to do it. All right. All right, all right. So now we have a second character set. Now, I always let the let it do what it wants to do. So I click yes to all of these. And it'll sort it out. Um, after uh, an, an, addition, an initial login, you'll be able to sort of get it all going as you want. Um, so yeah, so that should be launching a bunch of WoW windows. 
See, because it's my first login, it's not going to have all my login details. So, um, uh, yeah, I might pause this and start it up again once I've done, once I've logged in. Okay, so I'm back. So I know because I've got four accounts on one account and one on a, a di different email address, I know where I want all of them to be. So one is one. Uh, this is well five. This is well four. And this is well three. So Druid. Uh, what's that? Rogue. Oh. Fudge, I made it a warrior. Well, this was all a bit of a mistake. So yeah, be careful when you do stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna have to recreate that and redo it, but that's okay. So I'm gonna log into all of them. So we'll pretend that's a rogue for this uh, <laughs> for this purpose. Don't make that mistake. Make sure you select the right class. And look, they're all in on the right spots. So, uh, Drag. So grab your, uh, there you go, and drag it down there. So if you turn that on, you can do it for all five. Okay, so there's your team. Then you use EMA teams. I'm gonna pause this again and go and make the correct character and uh, we'll come back. All right, so we're back. So I've done, a, what I did was a, uh, a slash EMA which gives you all these lists. So I want to slash EMA config. No. It's no, okay, no slash. So, EM, oh, sorry, no uh, dash. So EMA config. So it's added all the wrong guys. So let's make sure we get this right. So we'll get rid of all them. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna in. all these guys manually and then we're going to add them in so you guys might know better ways to do this especially because burn them all is spelt so poorly um. <laughs> so, so I did a who <laughs> Uh, the character makes it tough. And, and who's this guy? Alright. So let's get them all into a group. Okay, 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 okay. So now we want to go EMA config. Bang. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this down. I think it's what is it? Control Shift click, Alt click. Don't know. Don't know. I'll do it all manually. Yeah, it's Alt click. All right, so let's push these settings. So it takes a bit of time, the first time you set it up. Done. So I'm gonna have to do it on all of them. Again, you guys, some of you might know a better way 
um, but this is how I'm doing it. But the thing is, you only ever do it once, so you don't really have to remember it after you've done it the once. Because every time you log in and you do an EMA team invite, it will get them all. So let's just do that. Drag this on. Just get them all nice. Um, last one. And that's pretty much all I do for EMA. Just get them all in the team like that. Cool. So now if I like right click and I go uh, leave party. So they're all gone. So now if I do EMA dash team invite. They all get added and join automatically. So there's a few more things I'm going to do. Um, interface options. So I want to set up raid frames. So I'm going to use raid style party frames. Um, so I like them like that, uh, nice and big. Uh, I like to set it by alphabetical, power bar, so mana, class colors, display pets. That'll be interesting. I haven't had to do that before. Uh, display health text. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're pretty happy with that. So I'm going to save that. Um, sorry, I'm clicking my pen. It's going to be annoying. So I want auto loot on all of them. Yeah, yeah, all this looks good. Combat, turn on combat text, even though I've got an add on for that. Instant quest text, good. Social, good. Don't really care on the other ones. Action bars is fine for now. So this all looks pretty good. I'm colorblind, so that's on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now the key bindings, I think it should be the same as how it's set on my other guy, but we want to do check, interact with target. Yeah, it's already on G. So just make sure you set that um, to match whatever you set up in Iceboxes so you can interact with target. All right. Turn broadcasting off. Um, there's no layering on here anymore, but oh, we're all in the same thing. So that works. Cool. So now that's set up. Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, you need to set up their spells however you want it. Like I want to run up to people and just spam Sinister Strike. Um, That'll be fun. I've got a. I'm gonna have to. I'm playing with a melee now, as a as a slave. So that'll be fun working that out. That's a, a bit of a challenge in itself, but it's gonna be running up and spamming sin strike and maybe even a cast sequence of sin strike and then and then do an eviscerate. I don't know. This is all stuff to work out as we level up and and learn how we're gonna play this. It's all a new experience. Um, five new characters is a huge new experience. So there, that's a, that's a quick tutorial. I'm going to get my mage to port all these guys to IF, and we'll all start in IF, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to log on a mage and just run around and collect them all, which would be fun. Lots of porting all over the world. Anyway, luckily I have an alt to be able to do that. Otherwise, you have to run them all manually to the same area, starting area. But yeah, okay, that's it. That's IS Boxer set up. Um, I hope that helps. It's it's. That's a pretty basic setup, but it's it's the way I do it. Um, it's got EMA built in, so EMA is another good thing to get going. So yeah, that's that's uh, a pretty simple sort of setup, and hopefully it gets you going. And any questions, let me know. I know a lot of you guys do it way more advanced, but this is how I like it. It's, I mean, I, I finished Undead Strat today as a five boxer pretty easily. And that video will be going up soon as well. So, all right, there you go. Questions, concerns, anything else you need me to run through? I mean, I've got a little bit more time now because I'm sort of sitting around in IF as a 60 waiting for my raids. Um, yeah, uh, so I might play these guys a little bit. I want to get them up to like level 15 so I can do some, some dungeons. So basically I want to let my rested build up and then do some dungeons. Anyway, I'm rambling. 
so I'll shut up now. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and I know you've been, some guys have been asking for this content for a while. I do get around to it, but I wanted to get 60 and start giving out my guys first. So there we go. All right. I'll see you in Azeroth. Bye for now.